she is so cute. Oh my god, I lied. Hello everybody, welcome back to Ochi Wolf Collection! My name is Brooke, I'm a huge collector, mainly collecting Sailor Moon, but I dabble in some Disney, some Pokemon, and some other animes as well. So if you guys are into that, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and make sure to comment below. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think of what I'm buying. Are you buying the same things? Are you not buying the same things? Feel free to, you know, get social down there in the comments. Today's video is all about... Oh my gosh. I hit it. I hit the eternal tiara. I'm so sorry, my precious. <laughs> Today's video is all about what I've been buying lately. Most of the items in this video I did purchase at NakaCon. I was there over the Memorial Day weekend. And if you guys haven't seen my NakaCon experience video, it's on my channel right now. Make sure you check it out if you want to hear all about what I thought about NakaCon 2023. I did not go into detail in that video on what I bought. This is the video where we're gonna talk about what I bought and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's get right into it. So I wanna start with all the NakaCon stuff first. And at the end of this video, I do have a non-Sailor Moon item. So stick around for that. You guys, I was very happy with what I found at NakaCon this year. You guys know I went to Planet Comic Con in March and I think that was the day, that was the weekend where I was like conventions are where it's at to do some good anime shopping. A lot of the stuff was stuff that I totally would have bought when they came out if it was easier to get from Japan. I know I can use a proxy. I know I have access, you know, to use someone to help me get a lot of things from Japan. But what prevents me from doing that a lot of times is not only is it sometimes double the cost of the item, you also have to pay shipping on top of the commission fee and whatever other fees are associated with that. So that prevents me, um, especially nowadays, since content creation is my full-time job, I don't make a ton of money. So I am more conscious about my spending and what I really want to put my money towards. So a lot of these are just like little things that um, I could have bought when they came out, but I didn't just because of uh, what I said of all the commission fees on top and plus the expense of shipping from Japan. You guys know shipping from Japan right now is awful. I'm hoping it gets better soon. Also, it's storming right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can actually hear the thunder, but if you hear like booming in the background, that's what's happening. We are in a thunderstorm right now here in Kansas. So first things first, I want to start with um, Fragmented Nostalgia's booth. I don't know if you guys have ever run into this uh, company, this booth at a convention. They do travel to many conventions, but this was like my first time experience experiencing Fragmented Nostalgia. I'll uh, have a link to their Facebook page down there in the description. But you guys, they had the freaking pillows from 2022. These were uh, Crane Game Machine prizes. They came out with a Black Lady one right here and also a Sailor Moon one. And of course, you know, at the time we blogged about these on Sailor Moon Fan Network. And if they are newer items, like from the 20th anniversary and on, I will make sure to link down there below to all of the informational posts that we've blogged about on Sailor Moon Fan Network for additional details as far as when they came out um, and what they cost at the time. And in these cases right here, these did not have a retail cost because they were crane game machine prizes in Japan. This was my first time ever seeing these in person and I thought they were so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the excitement. Uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not. I'm being my authentic self in 2023 right here on YouTube. So this is just what you get. This is, this is me and I was just as excited as you just saw seeing these at Fragmented Nostalgia's booth at NakaCon 2023. They're not super good quality pillows. They're kind of like, I don't know, might be like a satiny, like cheaper material, but the print job is good. I will say like you can't see any pixelation or anything on it. Um, and they're just, you know, cheaply stuffed. I feel like they're kind of lumpy, but I think they're gorgeous, honestly. Um, so we have the black lady on the front and then we have her silhouette on the back and it says pretty guardian sailor moon. And then we have the tag uh, from Bondi that looks like this. We have the official Toei Animation sticker marking this an authentic product. And guys, I have been getting asked a lot lately, like how to spot bootlegs. And honestly, you guys, this is the best tip I can throw out there for any collector. Look for copyrights. It doesn't necessarily have to have the Toei Animation sticker. There are a lot of companies that produce official Sailor Moon merchandise 
that don't have the Toei animation sticker. So that's not always a good indicator if it's official or not. But what is, is a copyright. Bootleg items will never, ever, ever have any copyrights on the box, the tag, the packaging. And you can easily tell because the copyrights, at least on this one, is right here. And you can see, I hope, at least I hope you guys can see in this video, and if not, I'll uh, put a photo on the on the screen uh, during post-production to make sure you guys can see that. But these are what the copyrights are. You can clearly see that, uh, you know, it, it's, what does it say, actually? Uh, this one says, um, copyright, no, Go Takauchi, Bondi Spirits, made in Vietnam. So even if it's not produced by Bondi, if it's like just funky or anything like that, like a United States merch, they will always have some sort of copyright on the packaging and even on the product itself in most cases. So that's my biggest tip. And maybe I'll do a, a full video someday, like explaining, you know, where a lot of the copyrights are to be found on the packaging. But for now, I just kind of want to just shoot that information out there for you guys, because I have been getting asked that on just random videos on my channel. So I wanted to make sure to drop that tip. But yeah, this was the Black Lady one. And then they also had the Sailor Moon one, which is really beautiful too. I love that hot pink. Oh, love that hot pink. And on the back, of course, the same hot pink color and the silhouette. Um, these came out in 2022. I know I'm not going to like board you guys with a lot of facts. I'll actually have our Sailor Moon Fan Network blog post down there, like I said, if you guys want to know more. But I definitely want to know from you guys watching my video, did you guys get these? Because I sure the heck did not know how cool they were in person. And again, these are items that normally I wouldn't really spend the money to get them imported from Japan. I just happened to run into these at the convention and I, since I was there, I was present and I saw them in person. I was like, have to have them. <laughs> so yeah, I got those two pillows. I don't actually remember what they cost. Um, th these actually don't have a price tag on these at all, but you know, conventions are hit and miss as far as like pricing goes. But again, I didn't have to pay shipping, so I was uh, okay with the price obviously since I did buy it. Um, also from that booth, I got um, an Ichiban Kuji item. This is the antique style uh, eternal article case, um, which Ichiban Kuji was this from? This is from one of the Cosmos ones. Oh yeah, the antique style one. It says so right there. <laughs> and I'll, I'll have a link to our Sailor Moon Fan Network blog post all about this particular Ichiban Kuji and all of the prizes um, that were in this. But this is the C prize and it's a little trinket case. And we are absolutely going to open this up right now. I actually bought it to open up. I think this is going to be so cute to put like some little trinkets in my collection shelves on. Like I want to Open it up. Let's let's do it. Let's just not talk about it. Let's actually do it, Brooke. Give me a moment, you guys. You wonderful, wonderful folks on YouTube. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support lately. My views are up. Everything is up on the channel as far as analytics go. And I know that is also like, I have to thank myself as well because I am putting in the work and I'm posting more on YouTube and that equals more views in the in the short term. So I'm very happy with myself that I'm continuing on pushing through YouTube and also very thankful to you guys who are watching my videos more. And I think a lot of you guys are becoming new. I've got almost 400 subscribers in the last 30 days, which is higher than normal for me. So if you guys are new, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the frequent uploads or my content in general. So I just opened it up, comes bubble wrapped. It was sealed in the box. I know nobody had opened it before, so this is how one would come brand new. And so far I can say it's a great size, great size. I'm really excited for this. I haven't, I don't think I got anything from the antique style uh, Ichiban Kuji. So this is, this is exciting y'all, this is exciting. Let me know if you guys got anything from the antique style one. I know the figure was pretty popular. Her and her like antique looking nightgown and the really cute Luna that was with that figure. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. Oh, this would be good for cosplay. Holy crap, you guys. Holy crap, can you imagine? Now everyone who cosplays wants to go out and get one of these, uh, the antique style case. I thought there was a mirror at the bottom of this, but it's just very shiny plastic. But I ain't mad, I ain't mad. Oh my God, this, do you guys think that's a life-size brooch, honestly? Like, I don't even know if you guys can see that low on me, but good size. And there's the case. And again, guys, remember how I was telling you, uh, like say you stumbled across this without its box and you're like, I don't know if it's official. Guess what? Most officially licensed products will have the copyrights on the actual product as well. Uh, so we have that right there. This is cute. I love it. It's not completely sealed, 
it's got you know little holes and stuff on it but this is gonna look great in the collection like seriously that's that's adorable i almost want to display it like that or something i don't think <laughs> i caught it i caught it i'm learning oh it's very fingerprinty though every time i touch it it leaves a god awful ugly fingerprint oh i hate it <laughs> my fingerprints not not the actual case oh i will say it has a very strong hold on the case holy crap i got it on there so good okay there it goes but it's a tight hold, so it goes in there really good. It just snaps in there. That's nice. I love this. I don't regret buying that. I don't, I don't regret, you know, overpaying for that. I think I paid 55 for that, which... You, no, I didn't. I paid 40 <laughs> Again, I was there in person. Didn't have to pay shipping or anything. Um, I, I actually don't know what these go for. Typically, Ichiban Kuji prizes, especially if you use a proxy on, like, Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari Japan, or Mandarake, those kind of places, you typically can get a pretty good deal. Like, I'm sure this probably goes like for $20 on those sites. But then guess what? You also have to pay the uh, commission fee on top of that and then shipping from Japan. So I would say I paid around what I would if I were to get it cheaper on one of those sites plus commission and shipping. So again, I'm not mad. Please nobody attack me in the comments for overpaying anything. This is just personally what I was willing to pay, I was there in person, and I really had a great time. And I think at the end of the day, that's all that what matters. Like, who cares? Who cares? I mean, it was my money I spent. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. So I got that. Um, should I save the box? I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm going to save the box. I'm one of those collectors that absolutely has to save the box someday, just in case, just in case, just in case. So I'm going to pack that up very nicely. And I'll put that in one of my plastic storage bins. The next item, I also got another Ichiban Kuji item. And this is the pocket watch. And the reason why I got this one, Kay, I'm looking at you if you're watching this video. So if you guys have been following me on like my stories on Instagram, uh, one of my best friends, Kay, has been coming over almost every weekend to help me um, just organize and start really displaying my collection the way that I would like it. And as she was working on my collection, she noticed that I had most of the Ichiban Kuji pocket watches, except I did not have the crisis one. So she definitely made it clear, Brooke, you don't have the crisis one. And I'm like, oh, crap, now I have to get it, Kay, because that's literally the only one I think I'm missing. Ironically enough, I happened to run into this one at Fragmented Nostalgia's booth. And so it was meant to be, you guys it was meant to be now these i don't open i keep them in the box but um that's what they look like when you open them up they are really beautiful i'm sure they're great and maybe someday i might change my mind and open them up and display them but for now i really like what Kay was doing back here don't mind my dolls these are very temporary spots for those but um eventually it's gonna go in there somewhere around here and that's where we're gonna put it for now <laughs> so i got that Continuing on with more stuff from the Fragmented Nostalgia booth. Um, okay, so you guys remember when Sailor Moon Eternal collaborated with the Sanrio characters and they came out with these cool compacts. I wanted these so bad, could never commit to buying them from anybody and so saw them in person, had to get them. So I ended up getting both. These were definitely um, overpriced for sure. Uh, they retailed, it says here on the back that they retailed with tax, 2,750 yen. Um, I did p spend 65 on this one. Oh Lord, I know. And 55 on this one. And they, they both ran the same price. So they were a bit expensive. But again, you most likely are going to end up paying double anyway if you uh, use a proxy and get it shipped overseas. So not too, too upset at the cost. These are an item that I don't think I need to keep the box at all so i want to open these up with you guys today and then on the back it just says super sailor moon and hello kitty and we have the 30th anniversary up there and that and i think the price sticker is down here and there's the toei animation sticker for those of you guys who are interested again i will have the um sailor moon fan network blog post about these two compacts if you want to know more like the date released and all of that and what else was in the collection. I'm trying to locate my box cutter that I just had. Oh, it's in my lap, of course, right here. That blade was out. If that would have hit my eye, oh man, it would have been over. It would have been done. I just bled out and died on the floor right here. <laughs> I'm really dramatic, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna open Sailor Moon and Hello Kitties first. 
These are really cute. I remember that when they first came out and you know, we saw the promotional images and all of that. Of course I loved them. I thought they were really a neat item, but I didn't fall in love with these until I visited my local friend, Tracy with an eye, shout out to Tracy with an eye and her super cute kawaii collection. Uh, she actually had these in her collection and I got to see them in person for the first time through her collection room. And that was when I was sold. I'm like, if I ever have an opportunity to get one, if I ever think that, you know, I'm going to buy it online or if I run into it in person, I'm picking these up. So it's finally happened. Tracy with an eye finally got them. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love that this, this version of the crisis compact it's super gold like the gold is orangey really it, i hope it picks up on camera that way but it's super super gold like i mean in comparison to this one which is a more very pale yellow gold this is super duper orange that's an interesting choice now oh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful here let me just show you real quick here's the front i love the um the what is it the prismatic effect of it i'm not sure if i'm using the right term and it's it's so cute on the back Oh, again, you guys, some copyrights right there. It actually gives us the date, 2022 Sanrio. And I believe these open up. They do, they do. I know, I know. I I, I know a lot about Sailor Merchandise and I see the, the post. I, 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 I don't know, I just always, it's like, it's like oh, seeing it for the very first time. And it's a mirror. Oh my gosh, okay, wait a minute, is that a skewed mirror? You know how sometimes, especially if it's like a toy or something, the, the mirror's not like a real mirror? Nope, it's a real mirror. <gasps> it just looked a little skewed a little farther away, but then again, I can't see that far away because I'm not wearing my glasses, so maybe I'm just wrong all the way. No, it's not skewed, you guys. It's legit, I don't know like what's reflecting in this. Hopefully you guys can tell, but that's all it is. It's just a compact mirror, how cute. How cute. It's really lightweight. It definitely feels cheap. I won't lie. You know, I overpaid, but it's adorable. And I'm not mad that, that I got this for my collection. It's going to look really cute. I can't wait to display that somewhere. Um, let's open Chibi Moons right here. And uh, this one is uh, My Melody. Super Sailor Chibi Moon and My Melody. These are awesome. And I think, is hers a mirror too? Yeah, I think they're both just mirrors. Ooh, I battled with that one for a minute and that thunder is booming. And you guys, the packaging that it comes with is just plastic. Like honestly, you aren't missing anything if you decide not to keep it. It just comes with that. I, I definitely might keep this part of the packaging, but this, no, I'm recycling it. I don't need it. And here is a Super Sailor Chibi Moons. I love the large size of these. These are great. Let's open it up. This one's giving me trouble. Again, the same ordeal as uh, Super Sailor Moons. Did you guys notice that uh, in, on the clear part of this, we have some really beautiful stars. I hope that's picking up on camera because it's super nice. Love it. We have that. Got both of them now. There's only one more thing that I got from Fragmented Nostalgia Booth and it is this cute Princess Serenity plush. Again, another item that, you know, I, I didn't know if I would ever want to collect, but in person I was like, oh, it's actually really cute and I need her. So here we are. There is a matching Endymion as well but I did not get him. She's really cute. I love the hearts in her eyes and the little blush, little hearts on her bangs there. Oh, she's really cute. And I love her size too. She's a great size. She was a uh, Crane Game Machine prize. So she's gonna have the same kind of tag like the pillows had. And there's the toy animation. I'll have a blog post about her and Endymion down there in the description if you guys want to know more about these and maybe what to search, like the search terms, if you want to look for her for your collection. I know a lot of you guys have told me, you know, when you watch my videos, you find out items that you actually want to have in your collection because it's kind of like you're seeing them in person when I show them to you guys on video. So I'm glad I can help some of you guys out there with these videos, make your own decisions on if you have to have it for your collection or not. And if that is the case, if you see anything in this video that you have maybe have changed your mind on that you want to collect because you just saw it in my video, always let me know down there in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. They always bring cheer to my day. And I love just to read about what you guys are up to and what you're collecting and what you like and what you don't like. I always think it's super interesting because we all are different on that spectrum. We have uh, lots of different opinions and I think it's great. It's it's nice to, to see what you guys like and, and don't like. So let me know if anything in this video you have decided you want to go and try to find yourself. 
that was that. And that concludes what I got from Fragmented Nostalgia. The next thing I got was from Asylum Anime. And if you guys watched the NakaCon video, I explained that Asylum Anime is the vendor that I visited in Pittsburgh, Kansas several years ago. And they had official displays from Bandai Japan uh, from the 90s that I acquired from them. It was a super rare find. I mean, I don't think I would ever have another chance and opportunity like that again. I mean, in my same state and they had these super rare displays that they only sold like in person. They didn't sell online or anything like that. So nobody who, who were actually Sailor Moon fans would have ever known about it unless they went to Anime Asylums or Asylum Anime, I always get that switched around, um, warehouse in person. So that was a super lucky find. I love those displays to death, but this was from the same um, vendor and they still had a lot of officially licensed um, 90s stuff, like brand new. And, and I decided to go ahead and get this. They actually had two of these and this is one of the Cardos uh, station system files for the cards and it is a brand new sealed in package with the jumbo card even. Um, I paid $24.99 for this. I thought that was a great price considering it is brand new. No human hands have touched it inside this plastic. I did get this because I want to start putting some of my Sailor Moon cards in this file. So I think I will be opening this but it kind of hurts me just a little bit because look at this just vintage old packaging. I mean, we have something right here that it says. I'm not sure what it says. I'll have to translate it later. It's, it's so cool to see these still, still sealed after so many years. I mean, this is old. This is from 1995. It has the date on the back. Wow. And, and that card is beautiful. I have seen that card before. Um, other collectors have it. I can't wait to look at it. I, but you know what? I feel like we just, we just got to open it. We just got to open it. It looks like you could actually open it from the bottom. Look, yep, to where it could be actually resealed because I actually want to look at this. I know that these um, have wonderful artwork in them. So here we go. Let's pull out that jumbo card first. Oh, I love the rainbowness of this card. Oh my God, it has the inners on the back. Okay, okay. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. I really like this one with the, um, oh, and I love the actual translation, Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Ooh, why is her hair so thin though right here? Oh, wow, that's, that's a little interesting because look how thick it is right here. Um, this, this is not accurate, but this is so pretty. <laughs> don't mind me. This is just uh, some, I don't know, some commentary that I'm thinking in my head and you guys are just getting the raw me, but love that. It's beautiful. Let's check out this card file together. Let's pull it out. Wow. So here it is. I hope not too reflective what was that something came out of the card file um oh okay we've got some little tabs it says system file on here and i don't know what else this is but had a little something something in there oh uh, here it is on the when you open it up i love it it's it's you know full color all around and then it's got a few sheets in here for you to put some of your cards in and then we have this in the back excellent condition he actually had uh one more of these you guys shout out to kurt who owns asylum anime he had one more of these and he might be coming to anime fest wichita if anybody needs one hit me up i can be a proxy for you if you want they are 24.99 but yeah no this is this is super nice is there something in here what's this there's like a little pocket there's like a little pocket right here you see this I, this is my first uh, Cardos uh, file station, so I'm, I'm learning with you. Oh my gosh, is that like, I think it's a little little yellowed from age. You know, these are old and this is just paper. So if any moisture ever, you know, hits it, it could start growing nasty stuff like this. And that's what happened. Oh yeah, that smells like old paper. Yep, yep. You always have to, you always have to smell it. Oh, wow. You can actually add more sheets with a 10 yen coin. Wow. Oh, that's cool. And then the, it shows you how to put the little tabbies on there, the system file tabbies. And then I, I guess you can like write, um, you know, what, what these cards are or which, what kind of cards are being shown. I didn't know that you can add more sheets, but where would you find those sheets? I wonder if they're universal. No, they don't look universal, but I wonder if they still make these in Japan for, Hey, my, co my fellow card collectors out there, if you know more about that than I do, let me know. Can you still get these, um, uh, these style of card holders? Cause I would love to add more. Cause I definitely have tons of Sailor Moon cards. Um, I'm definitely probably going to have to add more, but that's cool to see. Um, 
Wow, but that was that was in there. I'm learning a lot today. I wonder if there's anything in the other one. Oh my gosh, there is. There's so on the back. Let me let me put this one back in there first, and then I'll show you. There is another one in there. Put it in, put it in. Back in and it goes. Okay, so then the other one is in the back here. It has a has a little thing, a thing, a thing right here. Is that the same thing? Why would they put two in here? Why would they put two in here? Okay, same thing. Hmm, nothing to see here, folks. That was the card file. Um, where am I gonna put this? Put it down here for now, just for now. That was it from Asylum Anime. And then the last booth that I bought stuff from is called Fast Food Anime. And you guys, I can't believe what I found there. Now I would say out of everything I bought, well, I thought the, the Cardos file was actually a good price. I thought these vintage anime books that I found were actually a good price too. So I found the Sailor Moon program book for the Sailor Moon R movie and the Sailor Moon S movie. They didn't have supers or else I would have grabbed it too. Now these are in excellent condition. Like there's barely any wear and tear on these. They were wrapped in plastic. I love some of the manga images they show on the back. And I want to tell you guys, so these were $24.99 each from fast food anime. I thought that was a great price. I actually ended up checking the price on these uh, when I got home and they go for like 35 plus shipping from Japan. So this was actually a pretty good price for these. Now, can I just be real with you guys for a moment? There have been times in my life as a collector since 2006 where I had a lot of items and I ended up selling them for money to buy new items. And all of my anime art books of Sailor Moon, I had them all. I had every single one. And yes, I even had the, um, the manga one materials and I ended up selling them and I have major, major, major regrets. So this is kind of the start of me collecting them again. I never actually had these two. So these are actually going to be brand, brand, brand new to me. I've never seen what they looked like inside and I want to flip through them with you guys today. Um, so if you haven't seen them, this is going to be a treat for you too. If you own them and you already know what they look like, uh, I'm sorry, you have to look at it again. <laughs> yeah, I was really excited to get these. They're not very thick books by any means, but um, this is the start of me going to go back and if I've ever run into you know any of the older art books I want to start recollecting them and rebuying them. I know I sold my older art books to a couple of really good collector friends so I know that they're like in good hands and somebody else is cherishing them as well but yeah I do have regrets. I got those two and then also they had one of the super Famicom um like I'm guessing this is like a manual for the game uh for this game right here <laughs> and it's super thick and from what I could tell, it looks like it's in color. And this one was actually uh, $29.99. So I grabbed it. I, I don't know. I'm starting to really like just want to start a Sailor Moon um, like book and magazine collection. So this is some pieces that I'm starting with. Um, I guess we can go ahead and open this one up first since that's the one I have. Give me a second. I've got to open up this plastic. Wow. Oh my gosh. It even has a uh a slip cover this is in fantastic condition for its age you guys fantastic this is cool this is also the first time i've ever seen this in person i have no oh my god this is cool i'm not mad i bought this i'm not mad i bought this okay here's the cover here's the back here's here's me trying to flip through it and showing you guys all the cool stuff that it shows in here I'm gonna have some b-roll on the screen right now flipping through this you guys this is incredible and i have played most of these oh my god those figures i have played most of uh the sailor moon games from the 90s i've played almost all of them especially in the early 2000s i was able to download an emulator for all of them and play them on my computer thanks to the wonderful sailor moon fans out there who were able to um you know make that happen for us this is awesome have you guys ever seen this book before please let me know down there in the comments I love that it's all in color. This makes it a thousand percent worth the $30 I paid for this. And to just own this history. I don't know how difficult it is to, you know, find this game manual secondhand, but honestly, I mean, I, I guess I probably wasn't looking for it at the time, but it's the first time I've ever come across them. This is lovely. I'm so happy I have this. It smells so old though. <laughs> it smells so old. You can tell it's uh, seen some days, but you know, for how old it is, it's in really nice condition. I'm so happy I have that. What a, what a unique find, you know, at an anime convention. I saw so much like 
vintage stuff at this convention. I know most of the time when you go to a convention, it's all like newer stuff that's newly released, but I actually got pretty lucky and I saw a lot of vintage stuff. I didn't buy every vintage thing that I saw, but if you guys wanted to see like some of the vintage stuff that I found at the convention but didn't buy, don't forget my Nakacon video is on my channel now and that's where I show a lot of the stuff that I also didn't get. But I did end up buying this, this, and I do not regret this. This is fan effing tastic. Dang. Okay, okay, let's check these out. And now I've never looked at these, like I said. Um, so I don't really know much about these other than that they are movie program books. Oh, they are really beautiful. Um, I love the size of them. Oh my God! I love these! I just flipped through and it's showing like toys and stuff and shots from Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna flip through it here and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it. This is an excellent condition. I love seeing some of the products from the 90s in this scale because this is a huge book, honestly. So the printing quality is really good. We got some of the characters here. Ah! <laughs> Moon Revenge! Oh my gosh, it's showing you the CD! They're Sailor Moon sweatshirts. This is amazing. I'm sure there are scans of this book out here, but very cool. I would say it's worth the, the 30 bucks. It's nice. I mean, for, you know, it's age and everything. It's not very long. I don't know what this anime is that they're showing in the back, but the very back page oh, shows a lot of the Sailor Moon merchandise from around this time that the art movie came out. And I know a lot of you guys are recognizing this stuff. Ah, so cool. Oh my gosh, there's the, the LDs down there. Oh my gosh. This is just, I don't know, it's bringing back so many memories of like when I used to really look at secondhand 90s merchandise and it's very nostalgic. And, oh look, this one actually advertises the Super Famicom manual right here for that game. That's awesome. And there's the, the Animanga right here where they, uh, it reads like a manga, but it's just uh, photos and stuff from the actual anime, which I wish I had those too. I know that they, I think they stopped at Supers, didn't they? Like they didn't do stars. So that's kind of what prevented me from collecting those. But this is awesome. I got to get the supers one next. If y'all see it, link me, please. So that was that one. Let's take a look at the S one. Here it is. I love it. it actually talks about how it's based off the, this manga story from Noko. Let's do a little, a little flippy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. S is my favorite season. So I'm going to probably see some beautiful s merchandise right off the bat when you open it up what's that key i've never seen that key have you guys seen that key before oh my gosh we have the sailor moon s fighting game it is so like pristine it has this in there don't know what it is but it's pristine oh my gosh and we have like this sort of like little puzzle thing that is so awesome oh oh my gosh this image beautiful oh Oh, this book is nice. This book is nice. Hello, welcome to Oshi's Reading Corner. Let me uh, pretend I know how to read Japanese. I don't. Oh, you guys. This is gorgeous. This is fantastic. <gasps> Here's some more merchandise. Oh my gosh, do I don't have that. That has the Cosmic Heart Compact on it. That's amazing. I love seeing that. Oh my gosh, there's stickers in this book. These are stickers. I didn't know that there were stickers in this book. That's awesome. Unused. Oh, I really love this one right here. Oh my gosh. What? What does it say down here? What does it say all across this? Sailor Moon S, shoot, Super Baby. Sailor Moon S, shoot, Super Baby. What? Okay, wait a minute. That must be the name of this of these other series because I see a baby, so that must be Super Baby? I don't know. <laughs> But oh, those stickers are awesome. And then on the back of that, we, we get to see some more Sailor Moon S merchandise around the time. And oh, wow, I'm seeing some that I have never come across. Like I've never seen um, some of these hair things, uh, that Sailor Moon pen. I've never seen that Sailor Moon pen. Okay, and then we have this random anime just up here, up in the Sailor Moon program book. Not sure why. <laughs> no shade, no shade. I just don't know. Oh yeah, look, it's shoot. That's that's what the other one is. Shoot. I have no clue what they're, what they're saying on this. It looks like some sort of... Something's happening here. It's Merry Christmas, Sailor Moon. I wonder if it was some sort of um, performance or something. Here we go. 
It is Super Baby. This is Super Baby. How many of you guys out there like Super Baby? How many out there just don't even know what the heck Super Baby is? <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. There's that. There's that. Oh, we got some uh, Cardas uh, file stations on here. And then, oh, postcards down there that you can cut out. That's cool. Oh my gosh, the musicals from the 90s. I really like these. I love these so much. Glad I got them. No regrets there. That's all I got from Naka Khan. Please let me know what you guys thought of what I got. I'm really happy with what I got. No regrets, no regrets. And then the very last item that I wanna to talk to you guys about is not Sailor Moon as promised. It is the popcorn bucket from AMC Theaters for The Little Mermaid. I saw the new live action of The Little Mermaid the day it came out on Thursday. And uh, so many people have been asking me, you know, what I thought about the movie and if I liked it, et cetera, et cetera. I got the popcorn bucket before I watched the movie. So I was hoping, I was like, please let me like the movie because you know, this, this popcorn bucket was $30, but it was so cool because it lights up. I hope you guys can tell that it's uh, lit up. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's like, you know, double, double insulated. So it's kind of like, has like a little 3D effect. I did end up liking it. So I, I will admit I hyped up this movie to myself. Like the bar was set really high because I loved almost all of the promotional things that I saw, whether that be the trailer, the toys, um, some of the clips from the movie that were shown on like YouTube and stuff. So I couldn't help but think, wow, this movie looks great. It looks amazing. I can't wait. So I did unfortunately put the bar way too high and I know you're not supposed to do that, but it was just like, I'm, I'm really hyped for the movie. So I was a little let down. Like it wasn't as great as I, I like put on a pedestal as I thought it was going to be, but I still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Like some of the Disney live action movies I don't care for. This one I did really like. There was some really strong parts that I was obsessed with. Like the underwater scenes were freaking gorgeous. I absolutely loved the underwater scenes. I thought they were done so, so well. Halle Bailey was beautiful, incredible, the perfect Ariel. Like I, I loved her. I thought that her voice was, oh, it's just like an angel singing from the heavens. So those were some really strong things for me. Um, I really loved Ursula. I'd love to see like a movie um, with her playing Ursula, like a backstory about Ursula. She was that good. I really was impressed with that. I loved um, Sebastian Scuttle and Flounder. They were so cute. And I thought that I might not like them as much just because of how, you know, like realistic they looked, but I ended up adoring them. Some parts that I was a little like, Eh, on was Triton was really cold like I never got to see I don't know some more emotional side of him like where he regretted how he treated Ariel it was more just like very cold and, and unemotional so I really didn't like him at first until I feel like he redeemed himself a little bit for me in the end um I won't I won't say anything I won't spoil anything but he did show some emotion in the end and I was like okay thank goodness he loves his daughter <laughs> uh so so Triton was a little a uh, little not for me. Um, I thought Eric was perfectly casted. Uh, he was very handsome. I loved the iconic red tops of his boots that they kept in this movie, like, you know, to pay homage to the original. I thought that was really good. Um, part I really didn't care for. And these are just my opinions, by the way, you guys. Um, if you loved it, I'm so happy for you. Like, I, I do not want to take away from that. These are just my own personal thoughts because I have been getting asked, you know, what I thought about the movie. I didn't really care for his song. I He had a song in the movie. And I, I don't know, it was real cheesy to me and I couldn't get into it. I tried, I tried. <laughs> they were really minor stuff. Overall, I really liked it. Um, like I was bordering on like a six to a seven out of 10 uh, on, on, as far as like what I thought was a good rating for me for the movie. I really love Kiss the Girl scene, like that song was done really well. I liked how Ursula was done when she got really big in the end. A lot of, lot of the scenes were done really well and then some were just like, you know, not not as great as they could have been. So, you know, it was just a little hit and miss, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I will definitely uh, watch it when it comes out again and definitely see it in theaters, even if you are on the fence because the underwater scenes were beautifully done, beautifully done. I didn't like how they did the, uh, the kingdom of Atlantica. I thought that was a little underwhelming, but other than that, all the underwater scenes were so beautiful and vibrant and you could there was like a beaming with sea life and yeah no i like this so i don't regret getting uh the popcorn bucket and there's only one other piece of merchandise i want uh for the new little mermaid 
and that's going to be a doll. I want one doll um, of, of uh, her as uh, Ariel. So I don't know which one I'm going to get yet. If you guys have any suggestions on which one I should get, please let me know. Feel free to share down below. And other than that, you guys, uh, please be respectful of my, my opinion. I'm not trying to take away from anything. I still love the OG. I do like both. I do. Um, and The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite movies. And um, yeah, I, I thought that it was a really good um, live action uh, remake of it, but it doesn't take away from the original at all. They're all, they're both great. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. You guys are so super awesome. Let me know if you are continuing to enjoy this type of video where it's unscripted. I have the most fun and less stress when I don't bring any notes down none whatsoever i'm starting to realize so more videos coming soon to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here and i will see you guys in the next video love and kisses to you guys all you beautiful people of youtube and it is thundering i gotta go check to make sure everything's okay outside because my phone is on airplane mode when i film i do film with my iphone so i want to make sure you know storms aren't too severe bye guys <laughs>